Amen. And God wants to give us joy overflowing. Jesus said just before he died, he said, my joy I give you. Wow. Just before he went to the cross, if I was going to the cross, the last thing I have, I think, is joy. I would be so full of ignorance. But he had joy right after the cross. It's that kind of joy that surpasses circumstances. Would you like to be uh, yeah, someone that in the, the workplace, someone comes in, hey, how come we all go through the same problem, but you're still smiling, you still have a glow on your face. Can I know what's your secret? Would you like to be that kind of person? Yeah? There's so many assignments in school, so much project, but then you're holding up, you're, 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 you're even smiling, you're, you're, you can even have that kind of encouraging spirit to others. You know, hey, what, what, what is with you? And you can say, hey, I've got Jesus, and I've got joy inside of me. Yes? You want to be that kind of person. The last thing I want to share is that he gives us delight for agony. You know, he went through agony when he cried out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And today he wants to give us delight. And I, and I felt I the strongly as I was preparing that he wants to help us enjoy life. This is abundant life, right? And sometimes because of fear, because of different things, uh, we, we almost cease to enjoy life. We go through, uh, we try to be the best we can. But God wants to add joy to us and even delight. Amen? And he wants to help us enjoy our family. He wants to help us enjoy our neighbors. He wants to help us enjoy our work situation. And whatever we are doing at work or in school, he wants us to help us. Yes, there are challenges everywhere, but through that, he wants to give us great fulfillment. Great, ever say fulfillment. What is fulfillment? To be full and to be filled. <laughs> yeah, we agents know that, right? We ask each other if we eat, eat it, they all say, Chapa boy. Have you eaten until you're full, right? Filled, until you're satisfied, until you're. God wants to give us that kind of satisfaction. Amen. That's the kind of life God wants you to live so that you can give testimony to others. Because He paid the full price. He went through the agony on the cross so that you can have the greatest satisfaction in Him and with others. Can you say amen? Can you say amen? amen. Can you say amen? amen? Father, we thank you this morning. And Lord, even as we, we come before you, and we just revel in your presence this morning, we know that you are here, you're speaking to us. And Lord, we thank you, Holy Spirit, that even as you uh, communicate with different ones, we pray that, Lord, you would just begin to minister, even your word of hope and your word of life. And Lord, you're showing many of us different things that we need to kind of lay on the altar. Uh, we want to, uh, Lord, we want to just uh, release it to you today. Today, Lord, we want to release. Today, we want to release. We want to release it to you. Lord, we thank you. We praise you that, Lord, you have carried everything on the cross for us. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you paid the full price for us. Today, we don't want to carry any more, even one gram of extra baggage of the past from situations from different things. This morning I just want us to allow the Holy Spirit to search us. This allow the Holy Spirit to speak to us, to encourage us. For some of us, He's going to just take away that sorrow, take away that grief, take away the pain. He paid the full price for your pain. He carried the pain of the whole world on that cross. He wasn't shy to carry the pain. He wasn't afraid to go through the suffering. So that you and I, even when we go through the trials, we have his promise. And we can overcome because he overcomes. Today he wants to pour that love into our hearts. And through that love we can overcome. And we can be more than conquerors through him who loved us. Hallelujah. Shadabariyadalamash. Oh, this is a precious time. Allow the Holy Spirit to just do his work. Speak to our hearts. Say thank you, Holy Spirit, for still speaking to me. Thank you for believing in me. Yes, I may have messed up here and there, but thank you for believing in me. Thank you for still speaking. Thank you for your dealings. Thank you even for the corrections and even for the for, 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 for pointing out where I need to put my life right. Because sin is serious. Lord, we confess this morning, our sin is great, but your love is greater. We confess and we come to you, we run to you because you are our Father who loves us and who's given his life for us. Jesus, you hung on that cross and paid that full price so that today we receive abundant life and 
will he see freedom? Let me be to be bowed and be eye closed. I'm going to just share a few thoughts where we're going to have a time of prayer and even ministry time one with another because this is a precious time. But even as I was preparing, I felt to share this simple thought that God wants to set us free this morning. And I felt that God wants to give us open doors that no man can shut. Some of us have been in a confined space. We've been almost restricted, kind of. But God wants to set us free. The trap that the confines of fear, the confines of sin, the confines of weakness, the confines of our past, all those things that have been kind of limiting us, we felt trapped, but today God wants to set us free. And He wants to cause us to, to, to fly, to soar. He wants to give us open doors. But we need to respond and give everything to us. But let us all just end. We're going to just worship. And let's all just worship for a few moments, and then I'm going to ask you to respond.